Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can view and change hotkeys from within DaVinci Resolve 14. So in order to access the hotkey configuration, we go up to DaVinci Resolve at the top left and click on Preferences. You can also hit Control and uh, Comma, yeah, Control and Comma on the keyboard at the same time to open up uh, what will by default bring you to this tab. Uh, now you see that the System and User uh, you don't actually configure hotkeys under system. You have to go over to user in order to find it. And then you come down here to keyboard mapping. And that's where you're going to find all the hotkeys for DaVinci Resolve. Now, uh, when you load up DaVinci Resolve for the first time, it'll ask you what you want the preset hotkeys to be. So as you can see, you can have that set to several other very popular video editors for the same hotkeys. Um, but I've chosen to have DaVinci Resolve set here by default. So uh, you kind of just go through here and find the hotkeys you might want to know or you might want to change. So let's say uh, we actually wanted to change the copy hotkey for some reason. So we can double click on that hotkey and then input the command we want. So maybe instead of control C, we want alt J. So we just uh, hit alt J on the keyboard at the same time while that box is selected and that's gonna update that hotkey for us. And if we want to change it back, just Highlight it again and hit Control C, and we're good to go. Now, if you do decide to make changes, you're going to want to hit Save As at the bottom so that you can save a keyboard mapping under a name. Uh, by default, that's going to be custom. And you can also export and import these uh, key bindings, and it will export to a text file. So if you ever want to bring that into another copy of the program, you would just hit Import, grab the same file, and bring it in. So. That's pretty much all there is to hotkeys inside of DaVinci Resolve. So once again, control comma to bring up preferences or DaVinci Resolve and click preferences in the drop down. Go over to the user tab and keyboard mapping should be right over there. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.